Hey guys, nice to see you again. I'm here back at my last shelter, survival shelter, and it pretty much collapsed. So today we're gonna do overnight here in this snow. It's around minus one degree Celsius. And I asked you yesterday what you want me to carry here. You said knife, fire steel, and the water canteen. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so first thing first, we have to fix this shelter, raised up, my dog is trying to kill me, and three of us will snug inside, I have to make some kind of a door to cover it even more, sorry for the wind, let's fix the shelter first, let's take this belt, try to raise this up, best that we can get. Also, I want to support it here because this pole is a bit rotten just to be sure that it won't collapse on our heads. Okay, we place some support. Now I'm gonna cover this side here a little bit there just to have a small entrance, just enough for us to snug inside because I want to keep as warm as possible through the night because I want to preserve heat as much as possible inside of the shelter. I also place this firewood like this just to dry out. Just a few more and we're done. Okay guys, shelter is pretty much done. All we have to do now is cover it with the snow and the spruce needles, just for better insulation, and light the fire in front and get something to eat. Now we're gonna go up to see is there still that beautiful creek that we found last time and to get something to drink. Now a lot of people ask me why I do what I do here, like if I'm some kind of adrenaline junkie, it's just opposite of that. This is so peaceful that I think there is no better therapy than this. I could just sit here for days, watch the creek and meditate, it's really beautiful. Check what I found. Well, this would be a great throwing stick. No way. Shh. I got something. A huge wild chicken. I got you there, didn't I? Now, I brought this chicken because I wanted the so-called ultimate food for me and my dogs so that I don't have 
separate food because I have no backpack. Now I'm gonna roast it on a stick. I know that a lot of you guys will say, no dude, you have to boil it, you're gonna lose calories. Well, that's truth if you're in survival situation. Now, number one, I don't have a pot to boil it. Number two, I want to feel it roasted. Also, a lot of you guys asked me to do a hunting trip. Now, here in Croatia, we have pretty strict laws in point of hunting. I'm really working on it, so I hope that when the warm days come, it will happen. Now, let's get the fire going. Present, guys. We're gonna use some for the tinder. You like the shelter, buddy? Is it hose inside? Okay, I want to have here nice dust and okay let's see will this work okay we got flame now step by step Fire steel, always to the pocket. Is this gorgeous or what? Check this frozen waterfall. It's really beautiful. It's melting now, so I think guys that this will be last with in snow for this year, because winter is done. Next week they say they're gonna be lowest 10 degrees Celsius, so I doubt for any snow at all. Also guys, if you're new, see that subscribe button in lower right corner. Hit subscribe if you like this vid, if you want to see more stuff like this. Don't and hesitate to comment, because all of this effort is really for you, and I like when you give me some kind of a challenge, so I can challenge myself in it, and I really enjoy doing this. So thanks again for all of your kind comments, and let's get something to drink. Okay, let's get our roasting stick ready. Now I had to use the green one because I don't want it to burn off. And we're gonna remove this bark. Otherwise, the taste will be very bittery. Okay, now I'm gonna put it over the fire because I want that bitter stuff just to evaporize. Time to get the chicken on. You just have to be careful not to overcook it. Okay, while that is cooking, I'm gonna prepare the bed. I have my jacket here, and for my dogs, I have this wool blanket. Let's put this water to boil. I want to make some spruce needles tea. Oh boy. Want some chick? Want some chicken? 
Ooh, that's nice and cozy. Enough space for everyone. If you wonder, they don't usually eat meat, roasted especially, because that's not too good for dogs. They have their own food. But for this purpose, they won't die for being a dog once in a lifetime. Well, they like the shelter. Alright, tea is finished. Let's try it up. It's a bit hot, like sugar, but better than nothing. At least it's very warm. It will warm you up. Okay, now let's check this chicken. It's cooking for around two and a half hours, so it should be fine. This is beautifully cooked. I'm gonna give it to my dogs breasts because they can't eat all the bones and stuff. And I'm gonna just eat legs and wings. So let's do a taste test. See this? Perfectly cooked. Mm. Also lacks salt, pepper. But that's beautiful. You can see that idea. These dogs work. Just warm them up. If it stays like this, the night will be pretty warm. I'll see you guys in the morning. It is four o'clock. Something is moving around. My dogs are pretty anxious. It's probably just some critter moving around. It just sounds. I don't know. Can you hear that? just sounds like something huge is passing by okay just a few more hours till the light see you guys in the morning Well guys, that wasn't a long night, after all, it was pretty fine, not the warmest night for sure, but also not the coldest, it was pretty fine, I only felt cold on my feet, everything else was pretty much fine, so now I'm gonna finish my tea, take my dogs and easily go so thank car. you guys for watching again, if you like this vid hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, also, if you want to see me building this shelter from the scratch, click here. And if you want to see me getting out alive from icy cold mm -hmm. river, click over here. And as always, I will see you next time. Thanks again.